I was um, born in a military hospital in Aldershot in Hampshire at 5.30 on a Sunday afternoon on the 2nd of September 1962. My father was born and raised in England and my mother is one generation Canadian. Her parents came over to Canada separately. My grandmother arrived here in 1912 and my grandfather arrived here in 1913. And three months after his 21st birthday, war was declared and he went to war and was shipped immediately back over to Europe and uh, spent some time in France where, like so many men, ended up having to shoot his own horse to feed the men of his regiment. He was taken prisoner of war and spent quite a lot of that time in the German salt mines and then he got out of that and came back to Canada and married my grandmother. My grandmother had several hat shops in Toronto, she was a milliner, and uh, my grandfather went back to war a little older, uh, sitting under I guess all the jurisdictions of going back at a certain age, but he went back over to Europe in, uh, in 1940 and, and survived the war, and he died when I was two. My father's parents were wonderfully, deliciously fun people. I grew up at a time when a little girl with red hair was not dressed in pink and it happened to be my favourite colour. My grandmother spent oodles of amounts of time making me pink sundresses and pink cardigans, much to my mother's chagrin and my joy. My grandfather was magical. He believed in fairies, goblins, gnomes and, and elves and white doves that would fly to his aviaries delivering gifts for my brother and I. On Sunday afternoons we would share our grandparents with the local children from the local orphanage because we were told that they didn't have mummies and daddies and grandparents like we did so we had to share them and we did. We played in the woodland behind my grandparents' house. We had circus rings and we landed on the moon. We swung from trees and we played the in, in politically incorrect game of today, Cowboys and Indians. And because I was a little girl with long braids, my braids were frequently nailed to the trees as the boys imaginary <laughs> galloped around me on their horses and by their cat guns at me until we had to go home for tea. Um, my brother followed family tradition and went into the forces. He was 16 months older than me and I have a sister nine years younger than me. My brother was making a surprise visit home on leave, not telling the family and because he had not done much night driving he got lost <coughs> and tried to make up his time to get the ferry over to England. Unfortunately, my brother fell asleep at the wheel and went into the sea and he drowned. My sister and I have never really got over that loss and uh, I did lose my best friend that day. I met Stephen when I was 14 and he was 22. He was a family friend. At 18, he moved to Canada and I wrote to him lots and lots of letters telling him he should start his own business, never realising I'd end up actually working in it. I moved over here when I was 24, and by right, a birthright, I became a Canadian citizen in 88. And I'm very proud to have that citizenship. Um, coming over to Canada has been the best thing that ever happened to me. I've enjoyed working in this, this community that I have moved to. I consider this community family. And when people say to me, do you have family in Canada, I will say yes. Lots of them. <laughs> They've not necessarily got the same blood going through their veins as I have, but certainly their spirit and their support and their friendship, their embracement, and making me feel like part of the Spruce Grove family has meant a great deal to me. Uh, I fly my Canadian flag outside my house here at great pride, as I do. The first thing we did in France was make sure we had a flag for so I could put my flag up over there too. If somebody was ask, asking me to revoke one of my passports, I would give my British passport up, but I would never give up my Canadian. I stand before you proud to be a Canadian today. I stood at the altar here in Canada on the 29th of, of December 1990 and married Stephen. And I remember thinking to myself, I was repeating history, that my grandparents did the same many years prior. So, that's it. Thank you for letting me be a Canadian. <laughs>